Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on Mighty Mileshoff Creations. Today, I'm going to be doing my third update on my Johan 1965 Rambler American 440. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. Alright. <laughs> show you guys what I've done so I'm not sure in the last video I can't remember if I showed all the puttying that I did but if I didn't I'm gonna explain that now so I puttied this uh, front fenders up here uh, I did around the um, windshield area um, right here below the pillar it was also filled with putty and over here as well because before there were like these big like chunks of glue so I had to like cut it off and sand it down a whole bunch and then I puttied it and then sanded it down again I also did down here a little bit and then uh, this part back here uh, oh this part was a major major uh, area that had to be filled in puttied and such because right here it was cracked so I had to fill that part. Here, I'll get, I'll get a, my, my tweezers to point out better. But right there, right along there was cracked. And then right here was cracked too. I don't know if you can see that. Right there was cracked and there's broken here too. So I had to glue it with like, I think it was Tamiya Thin Cement. And then that melted the plastic together, and then I sanded the melted plastic down, and then I put putty over it, and then I sanded that down, and then I did like two things of that. Um, I couldn't take the tail lights out, so I just painted over them with primer. Um, my plans for this model is that the white top is going to stay the same color, so we're going to have a white top with a green side, or green body. Um, I also puttied the front here part make it flush it's not the greatest on the front I guess but it'll work I mean it's gonna be covered with the bumper anyways like I can show you that now because I'm gonna show you the bumper but I also painted the chrome bumpers gave them a refreshed look so we got the front and rear bumper 1965 printed on both I also puttied and glued and sanded the uh, Rambler um, grill and headlights because if you remember this headlight was broken off and so I glued it with the Tamiya Thin Cement and then I went with BSI glue all over the back I think I showed this in the last video yeah you can still see where it was glued but I went over with BSI glue and then I put putty around the edges with a toothpick toothpick and I lightly sand it. I mean, it's not super clean, but it looks nice. It looks nice, in my opinion. And then this is just another grill, I guess, for the Rambler. Here's another um, item that had to be uh, adjusted heavily. So we have the hood, and if you remember, this whole front piece was chipped and cracked. So that was all puttied. Uh, there was a big deep mold pin like right there I believe and the underside like this was all ruined too down here so yeah I think this was where uh, yeah it was this one that's the one that made the big mold pin but it's all good now all fixed this one I didn't really have to do too much to the trunk I think there were a couple cracks that I had to fill with putty but it still turned out really nice My plans for this kit, as far as what I want to do, is have, like, I don't know, let's see if I can kind of demonstrate what I want to do. But there were pins on the hood on the original kit, but I want to have it, like, moving, like, actual hinges instead of just, like, a piece of plastic. I don't know how that's going to work out, but I hope it does work out, because that would be great. Um, I watched Model Model Car Muse's video, Doug White. He has some really good tips. He uploaded a video not too long ago on how to hinge trunks and such. So I'm going to try that. 
Um, I don't know. I'll see how it goes. I'll let you guys know if it works good or not. Um, here's the cooler. I taped off the top part because I primered it white. This part is probably going to be like a light or a dark blue or something. It's a cooler, so it should look nice. I have the seat belts primered. I also have what is this? the seat. I primered it and taped off the middle part because that's going to be white. Um, same thing for the other seat. I use sticky tack for the middle because the tape split in the middle in between. And then we also have the dashboard. So. I taped off the top of the dashboard because I wanted to keep it white and like the side of the dashboard of course and then this middle part's going to be green same with the steering wheel um, I think it'll look nice because I'm also doing I'll show you now the interior it did crack a little bit but it shouldn't affect it too much because it is not like peeling or like even with my fingernail it's not coming off and this entire piece is going to be painted with hand paint or chrome marker. I'm not quite sure yet, but the seats were taped off. Same thing. And this back part here was not crackled at all. So I taped over that. That's going to be white. And that's why I did the white um, dashboard. So it should fit nicely. Um, for the underbody, I haven't done anything to it. All I did was paint it black. I'm going to probably hand paint some of the details like the exhaust and the gas gas tank the um there's the trunk pan i just painted it black because i think that's how they came i'm not quite sure and then here's the engine i just i painted it uh amc blue and then like because i glued the um what's it called on the belt and pulley system and the side e exhaust on and I painted it all AMC blue, hand pan the transmission, oil pan, and exhaust. And then I just this is the original chrome for the top of the manifold cover and the air filter. I just did a little bit of chrome marker in the middle just to make it stand out a bit more because it was kind of faded and yellowed. Done nothing to the radiator fan, nothing at all. Um, I think it looks pretty nice. Oh yeah, I hand painted the uh, distributor and the, um, what's it called, belt and pulley system, all hand painted. I haven't done anything to the the wheels yet, they're still not sanded, I think I said that I washed them in the last video. And then I managed to separate the, um, what's it called, the rims, the or the interior, sorry. The rims and then those parts which connect to the rod. I also have a chrome Rambler rim. I painted it chrome. Oh man, it's super not showing up great on camera, is it? But that's what it looks like. So uh, that is it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on notifications so you don't miss an upload from me. And... Um, Next video, you will most likely see this painted, I think. And then after that, I'll do like, I don't know, maybe it'll be painted and like final assembly. Oh, I guess I could show you what I'm going to paint it as. So, interior color. If you watched my DeSoto video, um, I did the pearl green as the outside color. And there's not much left in this can. And then I'll do the exterior color, this side this darker pearl green. It's a lot darker than this green. I just, I don't know if it shows up great on camera. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Because I don't want to use the same green for the interior and the exterior. Because I've done that before and it looks kind of funny. Like, even like if you have like a contrast color like white, it still doesn't look great. So you need to have like some other shade of green to make it look decent. Okay, so that is it for today's video, for real this time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload from me. Next video, it'll most likely be partially assembled and painted. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.